Hey folks, Dr. Bob McCauley, How I Was Introduced to the World's Healthiest Substance. Check out all my books on audible.com. Well, as I have related, I originally started out in the bottled water business. And uh, I was just selling a product, just regular water. It was well filtered. My, water, my uh, father was a water expert. Uh, he went to MIT, he had his own engineering company. And he knew about water and what was quality. So um, I got into it for about a year or so. And I quickly found out that I was making all this bottled water. And the supermarkets were in total in control of my business because um, either they put me on the shelf and they promoted it or they didn't. And if they didn't, I was screwed. And, and I continually get these hot shot grocery managers that want, loves treating vendors like garbage. And, um, and they wanted to do a bunch of deals. And they were doing big deals with Coca-Cola and Pepsi. Coca-Cola and Pepsi were just eating them alive. But they had no clue. They thought they were smart. You know, because Coke and Pepsi are giant corporations and they have hundreds of products. And so they'll drop a price over here and they'll raise a price over here. You're not going to make money with these guys if you're in the grocery business. So, you know, it's changed a lot through the years. So I caught the very tail end of the, uh, the old, you know, uh, grocery manager that would come in. You could just go in and, you know, give him your product. And then they would either, you know, take it or they wouldn't take it. But they would love to have this on their shelf. And then if it sold, you were in. And then, you know, again, they started, you know, renting out the shelf space and sliding fees and all this kind of, you know, underhanded stuff. And so great products are no longer to be found in supermarkets. What's found in supermarkets now is who can pay to be up on the shelf. So I decided I need to open my own store. So I looked around for property and I came very close to getting into the, one of these little strip malls. That would have been a big mistake. I needed a freestanding building and I found one. And so um, I started selling water by the gallon, 35 cents a gallon to come in. And I got a secretary and she kind of ran the store when I wasn't there. And so that's how I started. Well, this guy walked in one day um, by the name of Don Strayer, older guy. Uh, he was a real character. And... Um, I mean, at the time, I don't know, maybe he was in his 60s or so, but Don Strayer could sell any, anybody anything. He's one of these guys, he would just, you know, he had these watches that would ground you and, uh, you know, they grounded you to the earth and everything. I mean, he would sell, he'd set up a table downtown in Lansing and he'd sell hundreds of these things. I mean, the guy was just a great salesman. So he comes in and he says, I got this water. So he was selling this, these, these herbal products from a Neva, some kind of MLM. And um, he said, I got this water and, and uh, the guy was, uh, had one of my employees was there and he explained it to me. And he says, it's a really powerful antioxidant. Well, anyway, he, he uh, says, come by my house and I'll give you a few gallons. And I think he dropped off a gallon then, right then and there. So to be, be honest with you, the average person like myself uh, in business and having their own store, they would have just looked at this and laughed. Get out of here, you, know, you special water. I got great water here. What do I need this for? But I'm a very curious person. And this guy's telling me this water is an antioxidant. I wasn't 100% sure what an antioxidant was. Um, I know what it is now. <laughs> you know, it's antioxidation. But what was this? So he drops off this water and I liked it. I wasn't the best. I couldn't tell any difference in taste or anything. Uh, it didn't seem any different. Um, it was. It is smoother. Ionized water is like smoother. It's got smaller water molecule clusters. I can't say I noticed a big difference. And so I went by his house and I picked up a couple gallons and you know I drank them down. I said this is supposed to be really healthy water. I brought them home and and um, that was about 1995 when when that happened. Well, um, he was selling these units and through this MLM, another MLM. And they were super expensive. I mean, they were a couple thousand dollars or something. And um, and the, the, the whole company was a ripoff. That's, that's the bottom line. They're long gone. And um, so I bought one of these units, and it was from Japan. And uh, so I began to look on the Internet, and I started selling the water, and I sold it at like a, um, a, a dollar a gallon because, you know, it was more, you know, it was better water. People, again, didn't know what it was. And um, so I started selling that and then I checked in online and I, I found water ionizers that came from Korea. Well, the first dozen or so that I ordered, 
uh, were a complete disaster. Uh, I forget to remember the name of that company, Ion something, and they were they were just a disaster. So I got rid of those, and I mean everything was cheap on them. Everything that could break broke. You know, Japan had really good quality, but I couldn't find anybody who would sell from Japan. And Japan is a very difficult country to do do business with internationally. I had never done business with Japan, and I don't like doing business with them. They're a very closed country. They don't want to speak English even if they do speak English. So I went to Korea. They were far more open, um, and I started buying them from a company over there called Dongyang Science. Uh, and the names of the units were Jupiters. And so I, I started importing these, um, um, these water ionizers, sort of like, you know, um, 20 at a time. And, um, you know, I still didn't have a complete understanding of what this was and how it worked. When I started asking questions of the people that originally, like Don Strayer, they didn't have any answers about what this was. They just knew it was in any accident. And what they were telling me was they were creating a bunch of electrons in the water. Now I mentioned this to my father, and he says, well, that's impossible. You can't create an electrons. Um, so it was qu about a year before I figured out what this was and how it worked. I just knew it was really healthy. It was alkaline. You could, you could test the um, alkalinity of it. I knew that I began to find out, I began to learn that uh, disease doesn't live in an alkaline environment within the body. I began to learn that all disease, very slowly over the years, all disease comes from your diet and you don't inherit these diseases. Like I, I always thought, you know, heart disease, that runs in my mother's family. No, crappy diet runs in my, my mother's family. That's what it is. The, the whole family is on the garbage diet, uh, high meat diet, and they all get heart heart disease. Every one of them they have heart attacks. They have, you know, blocked arteries. They're a disaster. It's their diet. So I began to find this out slowly but surely. Um, <clears throat> and again, as around the time I found out about spirulina and chlorella, and uh, I found that there's your protein source. You don't want to eat meat, fish, eggs, or dairy. That's like eating the middleman. So you're just eating the food that ate the plants. There's nothing. There's no nutrients in animals that you won't find in the plant world and in particular algae, algae, spirulina and chlorella. So here I was with this great water and I really didn't know exactly how this thing worked. Well, I'll be honest with you, um, I knew there were some electrodes in there. There was a membrane that separated them. Um, I'm advertising this stuff as an antioxidant and is being really hydrating, which it was, I mean, it, it, it is, and, but I didn't know how the thing really worked. And somebody had mentioned this thing has a negative ORP, oxidation reduction potential. So it actually has a negative charge. So I, I was just out working uh, in the my kind of back of my store here and loading up for the next day. And uh, it just, like an epiphany, it just occurred to me. I mean, it literally was like a light bulb went out of my head. I said, I got it. I understand how this works now. I understand what a negative charge is. Because they kept saying, well, you'll find that in raw fruits and vegetables, this negative charge, negative ORP. That, by the way, that's the most important word you can actually learn about health is ORP, oxidation reduction potential. That's the ability for one substance to reduce or increase the oxidation of another substance. So uh, when you cook something, you oxidize it. So you burn it up, right? You're in the pan and you fry it and then it's oxidized. Now you put that in your body and you oxidize your body. So we accelerate the aging process. That's what aging, you know, is all about. That's what aging is, okay? It's not that we, we get old and we uh, get sick and we die. No, you live on the wrong diet and then you get sick and you die. So age has nothing to do with you know, uh, you know whether or not you're going to get a disease or not. What you put into your body is what, what determines whether you're going to get a disease or not. So ORP, oxidation reduction potential, the most important word you can learn about health because everything that you put into your body either increases oxidation or reduces oxidation. It, in, it in accelerates the aging process or it reduces the ox uh, uh, aging process. I only know of two things in the world that can do that. One of them is raw fruits and vegetables that, you know, they haven't been cooked, they have a negative charge, you put them into your body, they reduce oxidation. The other one is ionized water, alkaline ionized water. Now, Acid ionized water has a very high, high charge, it's full of free radicals, and it's going to do just the opposite. 
of the alkaline ionized water, okay? This has got a very high charge. So you're basically, again, you're putting an oxidant in your body. So don't drink the acid water. So ORP, that was like a light bulb over my head. And then what you're doing is you're not creating electrons, you're shifting them. And this is the magic of a water ionizer is this membrane that separates the, the two waters, uh, the alkaline and the acid. So you're creating, you're running the water over positive and negative electrodes and you're creating positive and negative ions in the water and then you're separating them. And the one that comes to the one stream up top, it's got a little silver tube on it. That's the one you drink unless it's in cleaning mode. And that water is got is actually is a third antioxidant quality that I didn't even know about at the time. I didn't learn until years later. But it has an abundance of electrons, so it's a free radical scavenger. It has a negative charge. It reduces the oxidation of the body. And then it has active hydrogen. So this is something, I don't even think people realized this until about the early 2000s that there was active hydrogen going on in here. And they used to sell the, I, st I sell them myself, these hydrogen sticks, you know, they create hydrogen in the water. They also, you know, create some electrons, some additional electrons in the water because of the reaction that's in the, in the, in the tube, what you're putting in there. And so, um, but there's nothing like ionized water. You can't beat that. This is kind of a poor man's, I call it poor man's water ionizer, these little sticks you put into your water. They're great when you want to go travel, but that's about it. Otherwise, I, I drink ionized water every day. I drink at least a gallon of water uh, every day, minimum, usually a gallon and a half. I drink it all day long, except around meal times. I don't drink water with my meals. You'll have a lot. You'll, you're kind of diluting your whole digestive tract, so don't don't do that. Never drink more than one liter or one quart per hour. Your body can't process. It's very dangerous to do any more than that. Um, and so that's how I got going on ionized water. And what the reason it's alkaline is because you, again, you you've shifted it and put a lot. You've shifted the electrons. You haven't created any. You've put, pulled them from one side. And it's a, really this shift in electrons that creates everything in the, in the water. So you're really not ionizing the water, you're ionizing the minerals in the water. If you don't have any minerals in the water, if it's purified water, you won't get any ionization. It will last just literally a minute or two. You have to have the minerals in the water. So the higher the minerals, the better the ionization and the stronger it is and the longer it'll last. And then you create these very small water molecule clusters, they're hexagonal. And all this has been proven by Dr. Gerald Pollack. Um, with you know his work he did on the fourth phase of water showing that ionized water is unlike any other element in the universe um, and that it's ubiquitous throughout nature which is what I always claimed from the beginning I said this must be the same water that you'll find in nature and it is it's the same water you find in your own body it's the faint, same water that you find in raw fruits and vegetables as ionized water um, this hexagonal structure, this abundance of electrons, uh, the negative charge. That's essentially what it get, this is what the, you know, really the, the greatest gift that we have is, is a water ionizer and the drink, the fact that we can drink this water right out of the tap. I mean, it's really amazing. You're instantly creating this antioxidant and reducing the oxidation of the body. It's the number one thing that keeps me healthy is I drink enough water and I drink the right kind of water. I never drink purified water, reverse osmosis or distilled water. It's very bad for you. People argue with me all the time like that. That's not natural water. You can't, that's not like rain water. That's not pure water. And why do you want a pure chemical substance in your body? You don't. I mean, pure, chemi pure chemical substances don't in exist in nature in their gas or their liquid states, only in solids. Uh, so at any rate, because you, that's how you get tornadoes, you get the hot and the cold mixing together. So that's how I got introduced to it, and I really didn't have anybody explain it. So by, by the year 2000, I wrote this book called uh, Confessions of a, of a Bodybuilder, Rejuvenating the Body with Spirulina, Chlorella, Raw Foods, and Ionized Water. And um, I was writing all these pamphlets and all these things and passing them about, out about Spirulina, Chlorella through the 90s. And finally, nobody had written anything on it. There was no nothing on it. The only book was Reverse Aging by Sang Wang. And he really didn't talk very much about ionized water. He shouldn't didn't explain it very well. It was a famous book. He sold a lot, tons of these books. I, I, met, I met him. I talked to him a few times. but. Um, he, he's passed away, I think, years ago. But, uh, you know, I knew Bhat Mangalaj, uh, Dr. Bhat Mangalaj. He, was, uh, he wrote Your Body's Many Cries for Water. He's a great guy. He's from Iran. But he didn't promote ionized water. 
Um, I, you know, I don't know if you just didn't know about it or what. So by 2000, I wrote my fir first book, and then I was out to see one of my customers one time around 2005. He says, you know, somebody's got to write the water book, uh, but the alkaline ionized water book, and you're the only one who can do it because I don't know, I don't know anybody who knows as much about it as you do. So that w was what led to my writing my book, The Miraculous Properties of Ionized Water: The Definitive Guide to the World's Healthiest Substance. And there, it, it, there's nothing better than water. And there's no better water than ionized water. So this is the healthiest substance you can put into your body. I don't know why people don't drink this stuff I, after all these years. You got a guy like Dr. McCullough, he, he, he denounced it, you know, whatever, 10 years ago, more than that. Um, and, you know, I don't even know if he still stands by that. And whether he, I've heard he drinks it himself. I don't care what he thinks. I don't care what anybody thinks. The facts are the facts. I mean, you want science. <laughs> they always talk about follow the science. Well, look at the science of this stuff. It's a negative charge. It's an abundance of electrons. That can be all be measured. You can you can you changes the surface tension of the water. Well, that that's and you know you measure that in hertz. So now you know you got smaller water molecule clusters. And then you can measure the pH very easily. So you're raising your body pH, and you're giving yourself an antioxidant, and you're hydrating yourself better than ever before. And then as the water gets in there and hydrates and pushes out all the things that don't belong in the body which we call toxins, you, you, it's extremely detoxifying. So it's really an amazing thing, um, you know, beyond belief. So that's why when the light bulb went off over my head, I was like, wow, I got it now. I understand this. So I wrote that, and then I wrote Miraculous Properties, uh, working on my third edition. Third edition, one, this one coming out. Well, we're doing this one in uh, on audio now. This has been my be biggest selling book. I have sold tens of thousands of these books, just me. I mean, I don't have a marketing plan. It's just on Amazon. I sell it off my website. I sell it in my store. This has been my biggest selling book by far. Nothing even came close. Um, it should be my book on, on cancer, The Cure in the Mayor, my latest, uh, which is available on uh, audible.com and uh, as is my silver book of uh, audible.com and I'm working on this one. So I, my whole thing in business and in life now is to bring health to the world. That's, that's all I really, I've been very successful in business. I just want people to be healthy. And I want them to see how easy it is to be healthy um, and how simple it is to understand health. It's not complicated. When you hear all these doctors out here giving advice and they're, you know, what about this? And stay away from the lectins. And the, I find, this is the boogeyman. We found this thing. We found, they're just, you know, they're all chipping away at the edges. You got to change your diet to raw fruits and vegetables. You got to drink the water, alkaline ionized water. You got to take the algae, the spirulina and chlorella for your algae. And then you get away from these other foods. You know, health is not just about what you put into your body. It's what you don't put into your body. Because if you go down and for McDonald's for lunch and then a salad for dinner, well, it's not, it's better than a McDonald's for lunch and a big steak for dinner. You know, and it's, it doesn't matter what the food is. I, you know, people, I became, I was a vegetarian for 18 years before I became a vegan. And then I found raw fruits and vegetables. I mean, there's literally, stop eat, the stop eating meat is a step in the right direction, but is by no means this big healthy thing you're going to do. Becoming a vegan is also a step in the right direction, but it's just not going to bring you health. Stop eating cooked foods. That's what brings you health. Start only eating raw foods. That's what brings you health. Okay, so anyway, that's how I got started and on ionized water, um, and how I got in, introduced by Don Strayer, good old Don. How I got introduced to the world's healthiest substance, um, and thank God he came in my store. But and I was open-minded to it. That was the whole thing. I mean, there were so many other people um, that were kind of they were selling this. First of all, they didn't even know what they were selling, and they're not health people. I mean, they still go. They go out for lunch, and they got a big burger and French fries, and they sell water ionizers. Well, that's not how I live. I live. I you know, I walk the walk, as they say. You know, I really, you know, live this lifestyle, and that's why I've always been healthy um, all these years. Anyway, I think that um, I know that if you felt the way I do every day, which is full of energy, clear-minded, I don't have any aches and pains, <laughs> unless I bump myself or something. Um, I don't ever wait worried about that test report coming back. Was it? Do I have cancer? I mean, I ne I'm never going to worry about those things in my life. 
uh, unless I just stop eating the way I eat and living the way I live. Uh, you're, you, uh, I'm gonna, not going to die of a disease. I've said this many times. Not many people you over here say that, but I'm not going to die of a disease. Um, you know, I go to social events sometimes, and you know, everybody's sitting there with a plate full of cooked food, and you know, I might cheat on a cookie or something, but that's about it. You know, I'm going to go home and eat a salad if they didn't have a salad. And that's just the way it is. And honestly, it doesn't matter. To, social doesn't matter to me. Uh, if you live, if you felt the way I did, you'd probably live a lot more like the way I live, and you would be drinking a lot more alkaline ionized water, the healthiest substance you can possibly consume. Dr. Bob, hope you enjoyed my little story. I'll see you next time. Hey folks, check out all my books on Amazon.com. Uh, I've written seven books now, uh, but this one's on Audible, Silver, the Miracle Mineral, End of Infectious Disease, uh, The Cure in the Mirror, Nature's Protocol for Surviving Cancer. That's on Audible. And then my most popular book, I have sold tens of thousands of these books through the years, never promoted it, never marketed it. It is the Miraculous Properties of Ionized Water, the definitive guide to the world's healthiest substance. Third edition, I revamped the whole thing. It's on Audible too. So those are all read by the author's voice, my voice, and I hope you like them.